that game about things that worked, things you thought were there that weren't taken advantage of, etc. Uh, you know, it was a it was a tough game. Stanford's a great team. Um, they played a great game, um, but I mean, we're looking for, we're looking at Texas now. Um, great team coming up. We got to prepare hard and and hopefully play well and, and, and you know do what we got to do. On that back end zone play, how, how confident in the air were you that you had you were going to get down bounds? Uh, it was kind of tough because I knew it came out a little late and I knew I didn't have a lot of, a lot of room back there. So once I caught it, I was like, oh, I might have been out. I wasn't too sure because I, I mean the ball was in the air for, for a pretty long time and, and we were pretty close to the end zone. But I mean I tried to make the best of it, but couldn't come down. I mean couldn't keep my feet in. So what was the conversation like with your brother uh, post game? Uh, it was really brief. Um, uh, good game. Um, how you doing? What's up? All that. I mean, I wasn't too happy because we had just lost. Yeah. But well, I mean, like, did you guys talk with your family at all, like, kind of over the phone or whatever? No, I mean, our whole family was there. So after the game, oh, okay. you guys all we all out. met at the end outside of the gate and talked, and it was, it was fun. It was cool. When you were watching the film, what, what stood out most in terms of execution or things that didn't work for you guys? Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of things that we could have done better. Um, I think the receivers played pretty well. Um, I mean, as a, as a whole, we all have to do things better, but I think. Receivers, I think that we, we played pretty well. Did Last you, week, it appeared as though Stanford uh, had a double team bracketed you. Do you expect to see more of that, perhaps moving forward against Texas? I'm not sure. Um, I mean, it's a whole new team, whole new staff, whole new scheme. So we're gonna. I mean, I'm gonna listen to T, do, do what he tells me, and, and hopefully, you know, I execute out there. Coach mentioned the Ocho package for you. At, yeah. How different was your game plan and your role last week from Game One? Uh, it was. It wasn't that much different because we've had that package. I mean, all year. So, I mean, it's just, just kind of was the same. Just Ocho means I go in, so it's about it. Did you feel like the Stanford defense put more attention towards you, especially um, that first half? I couldn't really tell, to be honest with you. Um, that's the kind of defense they were they were running all game. I feel like um, that's what they they planned for us. So I, I couldn't really tell. Did you talk to JT at all at halftime, trying to talk about getting you the ball more? Uh, not really. Um, they talked. We talked as a whole offense. Offensive unit. That was about it. Yeah. You guys were so in sync the first week. Just a little bit off on a couple of big plays Saturday. Uh, do you sit down and go back through those with him, or what's the process in kind of diagnosing those? Um, I don't really sit down with JT and go through the plays. Uh, we usually go as a as a whole offensive unit, and then as receivers with Coach T, we'll go over the whole game and and just you know analyze the whole game and, and see what we did. What's what's one improvement you guys are looking forward to making this weekend? Um, I mean, you can always get better at things. I think just, I mean, making plays. We got to make those plays. Then when the ball is near, receivers got to make the catch. Mainly so. execution. Yeah, I would say that maybe. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you.